I am in Daytona, Florida, and I'm doing another ballpark video, but this one's pretty special because I'm not necessarily here just for the game. I'm seeing the Daytona Tortugas taking on the Palm Beach Cardinals. This is low A minor league baseball, the Florida State League here in Florida. But what's really special about this game is it's taking place at Jackie Robinson Stadium. And anybody who's seen the movie 42 with Chadwick Boseman, and Jackie Robinson played his first spring training game as a member of the Montreal Royals, the AAA team of the Los Angeles, well back then the Brooklyn Dodgers, I guess. The Brooklyn Dodgers here at Jackie Robinson Stadium. Obviously it wasn't named that back then. It is the first integrated spring training game in the history of Major League Baseball, at least the modern history of Major League Baseball. So there's a little Jackie Robinson Museum here as well. This is still the old field where that game was played. So a lot of history here, and I just wanted to make sure to see a game here and pay tribute to the great Jackie Robinson.
So it is now an hour after the scheduled first pitch time and we are still waiting for the game to start because there is some lightning in the area. It's not really raining all that much. It's a little bit of a drizzle, but the lightning in the area, I guess, is the concern. This is definitely a strange situation. Tried to come here to see a baseball game and kind of just killed time all day. And now we get here and uh, I don't know if we're gonna get a baseball game, but we'll see. in a manner that is equal parts unbelievable and inevitable, the game was canceled due to rain. So I literally drove all the way across the state, stayed in a hotel room in Daytona Beach last night to go to a minor league baseball game. That did not happen. <laughs> so that was a little bit disappointing, but I guess Stuff happens every once in a while. I try to bring you more than just theme parks and it bit me in the backside this time. Please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Although I might be stopping somewhere else before this video is finished. So I'll probably be back in a few seconds.
All right, so everybody keeps telling me I have to stop at a Bucky's, and I knew I would pass two on the way leaving Daytona Beach. And this is something that I've actually known about for a lot longer than a lot of people in Florida. They've just recently come to Florida, but they've been in Texas for a long, long time, and I've done a lot of driving in Texas, a lot of driving across Texas. But for some reason, I just never stopped at a Bucky's. Whenever I saw one, it just always looked like it was too busy or too crowded. It's pretty late at night now, or at least late in the evening, so it's not quite as crowded. This is a weird place. <laughs> um, I like that it is a place where you can stop on the highway if you're doing a cross-country road trip, which I love doing them, and you can have clean bathrooms, a bright store. Nothing's too expensive when you're talking about side of the road truck stop stuff, but it is not my style. <laughs> Maybe this Northeastern guy from Pennsylvania would like to stick to Wawa and Sheets and not so much the Buckies. There's definitely a lot of Southern vibes to it. We'll put it that way. So I think I'm going to stick with my Wawa and Sheets and not do too much stopping at Buckies. However, if I'm on a long stretch of highway and I want to use a nice clean bathroom, I will certainly stop here. I'm just probably not getting my wardrobe from here. So disappointing we missed the baseball game. We had to rain out in the baseball game, but I got to check out my first Bucky's experience and it's definitely an interesting place. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.